Good morning, how's it going? We are out here in Breckenridge and it's a beautiful fall morning. The aspens are beaming and we're gonna go shoot some trail running photos this morning. A um, Couple things you need is a trail, which we have, an athlete who's behind me. Hi Grace. She's gonna be our runner today. And um, yeah, I'm gonna take you through a couple different things. We'll go through a few different lenses that I use and a few different techniques and, uh, and get some great photos. So. Uh, Enjoy, here we go. Okay, so we got our first shot set up here and I just wanna make sure my camera's set up right for action, so what does that mean? Um, first of all, I'm gonna be focused tracking her, so I wanna make sure I'm in AFS, so that means I'll be tracking her, or I'm sorry, that's single shot, AFC is continuous. Sorry, it's early, I barely got any coffee in me and I had a huge adventure this weekend. I'll tell you all about it in a little bit. Anyhow, AFC is continuous and then I wanna be in my highest frame rate too. So I'm gonna move that over to here so I'm in my highest frame rate. I'm shooting in raw, I already know that. Um, what else, I wanna see what autofocus mode I'm in. Okay. I'm gonna do expand, for, so this is just for Sony. I'm gonna do expand flexible spot. That will, might not mean anything for you if you're on Nikon or Canon, um, but for Sony, that's what it means. Make sure all the settings on my uh, 7200 here, right? I'm in autofocus. Good thing I checked, that was not in autofocus. It was in manual. Um, I'm gonna do my full focus uh, there. I can probably take my optical, well, I'll just leave the optical stabilizer on. So. Again, I'm shooting in raw. I'm at my highest frame rate. I'm in continuous autofocus. And that's where we're gonna start right now. So we've got a few, we got a shot lined up. So we're gonna get Grace going here in just a sec. Nice, God, such good light out. It is gorgeous. I'm just gonna move a little bit, but same idea where we just kind of, just a little bit of an exaggeration on that. Just a hair, not much. And I'm ready for you. Nice. Cool, perfect. Uh, one thing that's like super important um, for me at least when I'm shooting, especially in AFC mode and continuous focus mode is to um, is that I'm, I'm sure to move my focus point out of center because I don't want my athlete center punched all the time right in the middle of the frame. So on your particular camera, whatever you have, you can move that around move that autofocus point out of center and put it wherever you want the athlete to be in your picture. So for me here, I'm moving it left and up. So that way she's gonna be kind of on the left side of the frame and then it's tracking her, her head so her eyes are in focus and that way I get all that background back there too. All right, so now I'm gonna shoot off this tiny little one right here and I'm gonna use my super wide angle, the uh, 1424, and I'm gonna put my camera right up in here and then Grace will come running by, she'll be a few feet off. And, uh, and I think that shot will look real nice. Um, one other thing to note is that I've switched. I, instead of shooting continuous autofocus now, I am shooting single shot. So I'll just pre-focus on the trail right here, and then she runs through, and I'll um, fire off a few frames. So let's see how it goes. So let me just, I think the best part is gonna be that little shadowy spot right there. And uh, it's kind of amazing, like, Looking into the light at like we're doing now versus when I was over there, it looks way better. Like it's a much more even sort of a light. And I'm ready for you. Nice. Yeah, that looks good. We're gonna do one or two more of those. I can show you real quick if you wanna see. 
You'll notice, so I've just got you like surrounded by the aspen all over here oh, awesome. and a cool little fence line and the trail. And I'm just trying to get that little bend and like that kick right there is kind of the spot. Okay. So. Perfect. Cool. Yeah, it looks great from this side. Awesome. All right, so what that does by putting my camera all the way down here into the tree basically is just create a really cool foreground element and it really creates a border and a frame um, for Grace to be running through. And it just makes your photo far more interesting than just like looking down the path. It's, a, it's, a, it's what I look for a lot when I'm out shooting is something to frame the athlete in. And we found a good little spot right here in this nice little aspen, so. So let's talk shutter speed too. Um, we want high shutter speeds. For these shots, we're looking to get good, sharp, crisp photos. So I'm shooting at at least one one thousandth of a second. You could get away with a little bit slower, but that's gonna guarantee that we get a good, sharp shot. Everything from her foot to her hands to her hair, everything is nice and crisp and sharp. So um, I'll be concentrated on that, keeping it fast. So for two sports in particular, shooting at really high frame rates of over 10 or 12 frames a second um, is really important. And that's gonna be trail running and skiing because the difference between your leg being here or here can like make the difference in the shot. So if you're shooting at 15, 18, 20 frames a second, your chances of getting that shot are much, much greater. You can also time it, which is really hard to do, but I do that sometimes, especially when I'm using flash. Um, but I would rather just shoot at a really high frame rate. Skiing is the same way. The difference between the hand here and the hand here blocking their face is everything. It can mean the difference between your shot working and not working. Um, so you'll hear my shutter just firing off like crazy today, and that's why high shutter speeds are great for action sports. All right, we're going back to the 7200 with the polarizing filter. We're gonna shoot this little corner of trail right here with all the aspens raging behind it. Um, for this one, I'm going to be in uh, continuous focus mode because there's a good 15 or 20 foot section of trail that Grace is gonna be running on. I wanna make sure that she's sharp for every one of those frames. So I'm just gonna track her as she moves through that. So again, um, she's in, I am in uh, continuous autofocus mode here. All right, Grace, I'm ready. Okay, that's good from there. I'm ready. Cool. <laughs> There's like a two minute clip. Um, so now we're up in the Aspen Forest. And what we're looking to do is um, we're gonna drag the shutter real quick. We're gonna try and show some movement. We're gonna use a slow shutter speed, but it's hard to do with a runner. With a mountain biker, their head is always basically at the same spot, but a runner is doing this. So it's a much harder shot to get. But what we're gonna do, the setup here, what we're looking for is a place where I can see her coming through the trees and use the aspens between myself and my athlete to uh, to basically go to blur. That's what's gonna create our color blur. And in the background too, but I like to have some in the foreground. So we're gonna find a, that setup and then shoot it. Okay, so I'm stuffed in the trees here now and I think I have a good setup for it. I'm gonna go wide angle or medium, I don't know, somewhere in that 18 to 35 range. And I'm gonna pan through these leaves and hopefully the idea is to catch Grace right as she's in this open spot in my frame right here. And we're gonna show, slow the shutter speed down quite a bit and see if we can get some movement out of all these leaves while still keeping uh, Grace relatively sharp. That's the plan. Okay, so I'm gonna lock off, as soon as I put it in a single shot, lock off to the trail and pan with her. Okay, I'm ready for you, Grace. Okay. Oh, nice. That looks good. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do a couple of those. Oh, yeah, that came out great. 
Okay, so the, the big question, of course, is well, how slow sl shutter speed do you need? And that's gonna change depending on your focal length. If you're shooting 200 versus 16 millimeter, that's gonna make a big difference. Um, I'm shooting at about 50 to 70 here. And on that one, I was shooting at 1 60th of a second, and it's a little bit fast. So I'm gonna slow that shutter speed down to, let's try 1 100th of a second, and we'll see what that looks like. So panning shots like this without a flash are really hard. You just kind of have to get a little bit lucky. Um, you're, you can't move your camera faster than they're moving. You have to keep them on the exact same plane as you. If you're moving faster than they are, or they're moving faster than you, it'll be blurry. So generally when we shoot these kind of shots, um, we'd shoot a lot of them just to make sure we get it. The other thing we can do, and I don't know if we're gonna do it today or not, maybe we will, is we can introduce a flash. And what a flash will do is guarantee that our athlete is gonna be super sharp. So we'll think about adding some flash in here and decide if we wanna do it or not. But until then, we're gonna do one or two more passes through and hopefully we get a nice sharp shot without the flash. We'll see. All right, so we decided we are gonna fire off a few flashes here and see how that looks. But um, to do so, I had to steal the tripod that I was using for the GoPro. So here it is right here. Here's my little setup. It's look a little crooked at the moment. We'll get that straightened out. But um, I'm using the Nissan system here. Uh, the Air 10S works really well. It's super easy. It's way easier than I ever, um, way easier time than I ever had with my uh, what was it? The pocket wizard stuff. Those were terrible. Those did not work for me at all. So this is what we're going to use right now. We got the flash set up. We got everything going. So you're going to see a big difference between how we shot it without flash and how we shot it with. And you might like one versus the other. You might like both. I don't know, but we're going to shoot them both. So here we go. All right, so that pretty much wraps up our shoot. We worked on that flash shot for a while and I'm pretty sure we got it. I, I'm really happy with what we came away with. So thank you, Grace, for all the hard work. Oh, there you are, you're over there. Um, so yeah, so I think uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna go down to the bottom and we're gonna take a look, a little closer look at all this gear I've been using today and kind of go through the details and, uh, and let you guys know where to pick some up yourself. Sound good? All right. All right, so we're back from our trail running shoot, which went awesome. Grace uh, worked hard for us and she ends up running a lot um, and she did great. We got some really cool shots, but now I wanted to kind of go through uh, through some of the gear we used to get all those shots. We'll do it real quick. Um, let's start with the lens kit. Um, first and foremost is the Sigma 7200 sports version. This is a lens that I think every action sports shooters should probably have in their pack. It's a really important lens to have. Um, it, you just get those nice tight shots. You can bring in the backgrounds. It's very fast. It's very sharp. It's, a, it's just a super pro lens that everyone should have in their kit if you're going to shoot um, at a high level. Um, I am using it with the MC11 adapter and I have no problems with it at all. It, it's still super fast um, to autofocus, super sharp. Um, I have no issues with it at all. It performs beautifully. The other two lenses I have are the 2470 and this is a DGDN so this one actually will mount right to my Sony camera that's pretty nice. Um, so that's the 2470 right there. Uh, and this is a lens that a lot of people are going to have whether you're a landscape photographer, a uh, wedding photographer, a portrait photographer. This is a really popular lens so uh, and it's in my pack pretty much every time I go out the door so it's a great lens. This one's a little more of a specialty lens, but uh, certainly very useful. And this is the 1424, and this is also a DGDN, mounts right to uh, my Sony camera. And all these, uh, some of the DGDNs too, you can also, if you have an L mount camera, these will mount, uh, you can buy the L mount version and put those on your L mount camera. Um, this one I use for a number of reasons, but I think the coolest thing about it is Shooting at 14 gives you a really unique look and a really unique um, 
uh, perspective that you don't typically get with any other lenses. So, you know, a lot of people think of a super wide angle as being a landscape lens, but really I don't use this all that often for landscape. I'm much more apt to use this for my action sports. And you'll see that in some of the photos. Um, I get it right into some aspen leaves or I, you know, create a foreground element with, with whatever it may be, uh, a fence line, some grass, aspen leaves. And it really creates a cool effect and, uh, and it frames your athlete up too. So, so this is a really awesome action sports lens that I use a lot. Um, so those are my three main lenses for action sports and then the body too. So what I'm shooting nowadays is the Sony A92. And I got this because, uh, well, for a number of reasons. One, it's a full blown pro level body. I mean, and that means it's also weather sealed. Um, I have my cameras in the elements all the time. So a good weather sealed body is really important. The other thing too, is that the autofocus is really good on this. It's incredibly fast and incredibly accurate. And that's really critical for the work that I do. And thirdly, it's the frame rate. The frame rate is really fast on this. I can get it up to 20 frames a second, which means I can, you know, catch a skier or a trail runner or a mountain biker, whatever it may be through every part of the turn. And that's really important to get, you know, kind of the, your best shot. So those are the three, uh, that's the camera and the three lenses that I mostly use. Um, and I'm gonna leave a link to some of those down in the description below so you can grab those if you want one. Um, so I'll put links down there. Also be sure uh, to click the subscribe button because we got a lot more to do this fall. The leaves are just awesome right now and we're gonna do more. We're gonna do some more backpacking. We're gonna do some more action sports. We're gonna do a lot more landscape, car camping, uh, trail running, whatever, you know, all the, all the good stuff, all the fun stuff that I love to shoot. We're gonna shoot it all. And I'm gonna show you guys how I get those shots. So click subscribe button, follow along, and uh, yeah, here's to a great fall. See you on the trail.